So after shaving your head, you're left with patchy and uneven areas and you're getting irritated skin and ingrown hairs. Correcting these, one or more of these issues is going to help. What's up everybody, I'm Mike, this is Bald and Strong, where being bald is a lifestyle and I want to help you make the most of it. If your head is just looking awful after you shave, pay attention everyone because I'm going to go through four reasons why that's probably happening. Are your blades dull? I put this as number one for a reason. And even though these things are expensive, they don't last forever. If you don't remember the last time you replaced your cartridges or your blades, let's start right there. If you're using traditional razors, you need to be replacing them at least every two weeks. If you use electric shavers, at least once a year. Think about this. Would you cut a steak with a butter knife? Now, I wish I had a standard template to tell you on, on a schedule to replace your blades, but there's no one-size-fits-all to this. No matter how you shave, there's going to be friction. That friction dulls your blades, and dull blades don't shave as good. Look, if your blades aren't sharp, you're not going to get a good shave. Period. No matter what you try, you're going to get uneven and patchy areas on your head. Are you using the right shaving product? Not all shaving products are created equal, and some are best suited for certain tasks. Shaving cream is good if you need to just do everyday type of shaving. Don't use too much because you're gonna gum up your blades. Shaving gel, true shaving gel, I recommend if you have a little longer hair or even a little bit more thicker of a beard. Shaving oil is a good choice for anyone, whether you use regular razors or electric trimmers. And Electroshave and AFTA, that is geared towards the electric shaver. Is your skin ready for shaving? And if you just put shaving gel or cream on and start going to town, here's another big mistake. You need to at least wet your skin. And ideally warm water to open up the pores and soften the skin. That's why I recommend you shave in the shower. And to do that, you'll need a fogless mirror. Bald tip. True fogless mirrors, you have to add water to them. I don't care what anyone says. You don't add water to these fogless mirrors, they fog. I don't care what anyone says. How long are you going in between shaves? You really shouldn't be waiting longer than two days to shave your head. The longer you let your hair grow out, the harder it will be to shave it. More hair equals more time and more work. Consider using trimmers to knock it down a little bit, to get it down to like a zero. That's going to help you tremendously. This is going to help prolong the life of your blades and your shaving product. Everyone, shaving should be something to be enjoyed, not so much of a chore and a headache. So master these four steps, learn them, implement them, and you'll be on your way to a great shave again. Guys, if you liked my content and you want to subscribe, hit this icon over here. And if you want to see more of my content, hit this icon over here. Thanks so much, until the next time.